What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today we'll be opening up a Card Fat Vanguard manga, I believe it's called the Special Edition that they had? Yeah, Special Edition, as you can see right there, Volume 1, Special Edition. Uh, I got this actually from uh, Amazon, it's, what was it, was it 18, it wasn't exactly 20 bucks, around 18 bucks. I have Prime, so, you know, free shipping on that, so if you're paying for shipping, you'll probably pay around uh, 20 bucks or so. Uh, I didn't see, like, a normal version. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough, but I was like, hey, Special Edition, what's in that? So, uh, we're going to find out together. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure some of you out there may already know, but I don't at the at this current point. So, let's see. There we go. That blade really isn't sharp. I wonder if there's a way I can sharpen that without losing a finger. <laughs> we'll find out. Look like a shop teacher afterwards, right? Alright, first we gotta see, oh, I like how they did this, it's like a giant card, but let's see what's in this. I think it's supposed to be a trial deck or something. Oh, okay, it's this. I, I've, I've actually have one of these already. It's, uh, what is it called? There's like a special name, but it's basically, it's two decks where uh, two people can play and basically learn the game. It's something that came out when the game first came over here in English, too. Uh, I've got, like again, I said, I forgot the exact name, but uh, it's really cool they include this. For people that haven't played Vanguard yet, they're just getting into it, that's actually really awesome. And Kagero and a Royal Paladin as well, that's pretty awesome. I like that. And these two dragons look really nice as well. But yeah, that, that's a pretty good deal. If you don't have that as well, there are some good cards in it, I believe. I don't know if they're still you know, as good as they were, but, uh, yeah. Remember, this is a manga, so it's backwards. You know, I'm trying not to spoil anything, so I'm flipping through it fast, but, uh, be sure to get the book yourself. You want to support the manga industries, you want them to make, to bring all these over here. So, even if you do read online, be sure to also buy the books. I do that with, like, Bleach and, and Naruto and stuff. I don't read this online, I'd rather just wait for it to come out, because they're coming out pretty quickly. So, get the glue off there, there we go. And we have a, uh, well, if we can focus, Blaster Blade. Different artwork as well. I'd love when they do different artworks. That is freaking amazing. I wish Yu-Gi-Oh! would do that a lot more too. But there's, what is there? Is this, for at least uh, the English Blaster Blades, I think this is like the third or fourth one? I think there's like five or so in Japan. I don't know. I could be totally miscounting. But I know there's more for Japan, I think, than, uh, than what we have. It looks freaking amazing. Though. I might keep it in this uh, plastic for now. Uh, but yeah, this I really think it's worth getting. Supposedly the story is different from the anime, or that's what I've heard. Uh, sort of like how the uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh mangas are like that as well, where they don't go together, really, which is pretty cool. I mean, in some in some of the mangas too, I kind of like the uh, manga version better. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about this yet. I am going to give it a read. And uh, I think it's like in another two or three months or so, the next one comes out too. So we'll get those and do opening shows as well. Like I said, though, I got these from Amazon. You can probably find them at, like, Barnes & Nobles. If you still have those, I think those are kind of scarce nowadays. And uh, Books A Million. And I, I don't have Barnes & Nobles where I live. I have Books A Million, so I'm not too sure. But I believe they would have those as well. Like, they have the Yu-Gi-Oh! mangas and stuff, too. But, yeah, remember to support the industry by buying them. They're really awesome. And uh, get a cool promo. So I think that's worth it in itself. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed, of course. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, remember, if you are going to a bookstore to get this, I, I feel like I should say this, make sure the card's in the book. Uh, if it's plastic wrap, it should be, you know, on it, it should be safe, but make sure because you always have to watch out for that in the Yu-Gi-Oh! mangas and stuff too, where people actually get into them and get the cards out. So always check that. That's why I usually tell people just to order either from a good store online or like Amazon or something because then you will get the card in it. So it's always the best thing, but just make sure. I don't want anyone to get ripped off or something by going to the bookstore. So always thank you for watching. Remember to come and subscribe, and of course, I will catch you guys later. Remember to uh, request other videos you want to see too. All right? Later, guys.